yep, what's the question? God is the answer, yep, what's the question? I say God is the answer, God is the answer, God is the answer, yep, what's the question? God is the answer, yep. They did not kill him or crucify him, but appeared to be to them. Supposedly, supposedly someone else, right? Because Allah deceived the people and he put someone else look like Jesus. So apparently it's not the fault of a Christian. They thought they believe this is Allah because according to the Quran, Allah al-Mudal, he is the deceiver. The God of the Quran, he is the deceiver. And who's the deceiver to as a Christian? Who? Satan. Thank you. Hey, why did why did why did Allah deceive us, bro? No, I don't know. I Wait, well, no, well, you should know. Because in the Quran it says, I know, I know well, that's what. Well, I'm not. That's why. Look, so if you don't know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna berate you for your ignorance. So I'm just gonna say, find out. When you find out, come back and tell me. Okay, I want. Hey, let me ask. Let me ask you this: Is 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 lying a sin? Yeah. So Allah has just sinned. He lied to us. So that makes Ali as Allah as a sinner. Which means he's not God because gods don't sin. Okay. Can I ask you something in the, in the Quran? Listen, 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 listen. Allah is not God, bro. Listen. Wala tazir waziratun wizra ukhra. Why he put someone else instead of Isa? Answer this question. What is your question? It says, Wala tazir waziratun wizra ukhra. He doesn't understand Arabic. Brother, you, you gotta learn Arabic. No, no, I don't. You're not a real Muslim if you don't understand Arabic. You're supposed to learn. You're supposed to learn, you're supposed to learn Arabic. Every Muslim I talk to, they don't understand. And guess what? Now, now that you, now that you, now that she's explained this to you, and, and you see that it's kind of twisted, would you like to be a Christian today? Would you like to accept the real Jesus Christ? He can come into your life. He can save you. No, 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 no. You don't. No, you don't respect Jesus because Jesus said He died for your sins. So unless you believe that He died for your sins, you don't respect Him. And you also said that no one can sin, right? And the fact that Allah lied, you said that a lie is a sin. The fact that Allah lied to us and said, no, I didn't put Jesus on the cross, makes him a sinner. Who are sinners? People of the what? Devils. Satan. Right? So that means God, Allah is not God because he lied, which means he's a sinner because God cannot lie. So if he's a sinner, you should, right now you should accept Jesus. Get this dude a, a, a Bible because he knows that he worships Satan now. So now he can accept that. He can accept that he worships Satan or he can come back to Jesus. And another one very important thing for every Christian to know that the Quran no no that no no that the Quran says in Kunta fi Raib supposedly Allah talking to Muhammad in a Kunta fi Raib in Mimma and Dana Ali Fat Al Ahl al Kitab. If you have a doubt, go ask the people of the book. Amen. There's only one God. He reigns from heaven. When I was talking to him, I used the word God to describe something. I wasn't calling it God. Yeah, you just you just misunderstood what I'm saying. There's only one God. Satan is not God. Yeah, Satan is not God. Satan only has rain on this one physical plane, but God has created entire universe. Yeah. But however, if you worship Him, you set Him up to be your God. Yeah, but we all worship some kind of physical reality. We all we all exist in the physical reality. How can you worship Satan? Yeah. By worshiping Allah. I I don't want to answer. I'm not friends with Satan, so no, he's not my friend. No, I'm going to explain. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. So, what's a sin? Is, is lying a sin? Yes, it's a sin. Okay. So, Allah said that he he deceived the people. He didn't put Jesus on the cross. He put us. He put a. Uh, he put, I know, but he said he deceived the people. So, is deception a good trait or a bad trait? Amen. So that's all I'm saying. So that's my proof that Allah is Satan because God can't lie. And as soon as, as soon as God lies, hold on, I'm answering your question. As soon as God lies, he ceases to be God. He becomes a devil. I'm not asking you for advice. You just know you said you want proof. I gave you proof. Right? Allah said he deceived all the Christians and didn't put Jesus on the cross, which makes him a liar. And and, and God does not sin. So as soon as God sins, he's not God anymore. Okay? Okay, well, he doesn't sin, yeah. And so Allah sinned. Well, you know what? Let, let's go. It's God, right? Yeah, God doesn't sin. So if, if, if lying is a sin and Allah sinned, how is he God? If Allah is God and he sinned, how is he God? He sees, how, how hard is that? Yeah, and I just explained how. Why would God become a man? Why wouldn't he? Why would he become a man? Why wouldn't he? Because this is what Allah teaches, right? That it's beneath him. Right? It's beneath him, right? You know what that is? That's pride. Another sin. 
See what I mean? You got a sinful God. No, no, no. Yes, it is. Because that's pride. Saying that's beneath. If I if I said right now, I'm not talking to you. You're beneath me. That's pride. That's a sin. So that's two. That's two sins. I just pointed out in a lie. He's prideful and he lies. I told you he's Satan, bro. Just by just by evidence. See what I mean? If if your God says it's beneath me to, to come down, it's beneath me to do anything for these people. That's sin, bro. That's that's pride. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't. That's good. You have yours. Amen. Cool. Amen. Good. 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 So now, so now you know the truth. So your blood is off my hands. You can go on with whatever you do. But now you know the truth. You know Jesus is God. You know they died for your sins. And if you reject that, you you're condemned already. Right now, after And for the multiple times you've been here. So my purpose, my purpose is to prove to you. Through, uh, through our scriptures that Islam is incorrect and to make you follow Jesus, the real Jesus. So your religion is better. My religion is correct. It's not, see that's the thing, it's not about, religion is about truth. It's not about who's better, who's not better. It's about truth. And it's not about disrespect or, or, or respect. It's about who has the truth, right? Because we all want to get to heaven. We all want to be with God one day. And I have the truth and you do not. So therefore, I'm going to bring you the truth and you can, you can accept or reject it. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah, no, I'm going to show you in the Quran where it says it's okay to get your wife. Brother, where you at? I need help. Where you at? Prayer so, 434. Prayer 4, I have 34. Jerry, I'm going to have to go to the You guys are liars. I don't believe you. You guys are liars. I don't believe you. That's what your friend said earlier. That's what your friend said earlier. That's what your friend said earlier, and it was true. Okay, listen up. I'm gonna read the Quran. Have respect for for the for the Quran. Have, have respect for the Quran. Have respect for the Quran. Hold on, I'm gonna read the Quran. I'm gonna read the Quran. Men are protectors of the women because God has made some of them excel others, and because they spend their wealth on them. So virtuous women are obedient and guard in the husband's absence what God would have have them guard. As for those whom you apprehend, infidel, admonish them. Then refuse to share their beds, and then finally hit them. Hit them. Hit them. You see that? Make sure you get down there. Hit them. Hit them. Hit them. Hit them. Hit them. Finally, hit them. Hit them. Everybody on YouTube, watch this. Hit them. You know why you don't want us to talk about the Quran? Because it says you can beat your wife. That's why. You, 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 you don't want you don't want everyone to know. Everyone to know. You don't want everyone to know that it, that Allah don't, doesn't love women. That Allah treats women like crap. That Allah says a woman's testimony. That Allah says that a woman's testimony is that half of a man. That Allah says that you can slap your wife. That Allah says you can rape your wife. That's why you don't want me to talk about the Quran. That's why you don't want me to talk about the Quran. Because what it truly says. Why would Allah? Why would Allah? Why would Allah say? Hold on. Why would Allah say it's okay to slap your wife? Why would He say that? Why does He say that? Okay. Want me to read it? Want me to read it? I'll read it. I'll read it. You want me to read it? Okay. Let's read it. This is what Allah thinks about women. Yo, why are you putting hate? Stop, stop. Hey, you know what hate is? Okay, look. Hey, look. You know, what hey, look, you know why you think? I'm about to read the Quran. I'm about to read it. This is what the Quran thinks about women. Quran 434. Men are protectors of the women because God has made some of them excel others. And because they spend because they spend their wealth on them. So virtuous women are obedient and guarding what the husband asks them and what God would have, would have them guard. As for those who you apprehend, infidels, admonish them, then refuse to share their bed, and then finally hit them. Hit them. Hit. How can you, how can you take, hit the woman out of context? Put it in context for me then. Infidels, admonish them, then refuse to share their beds, and finally, Hit them. This is what the Quran tells you to do to your women. Hit them. First, first deny them sex. First deny them sex. Then admonish them. And if they don't listen to you, Allah, Allah gives you gives men permission to hit their wives. Okay. So Omar he went to Muhammad and he said to him, cover your women, like cover your wife, because he didn't want them to be raped. So. The day or the days after later, Muhammad claimed that he received a revelation. Remember? Yeah. He's claiming that he received a revelation and put it in his book, Quran. Yeah. And he said, 
After Omar already told him. Allah talk to him. Ya ayyuha al-Nabi, qul li azwajika wa li banatika wa nisa'i al-mu'mineen an yudnina alayhinna bi jalabibihinna dalika adna an yu'arab. This is Quran. I'm calling, I'm talking Quran now to you. I'm reciting the verse where it says, Oh Prophet, supposedly Allah spoke to him because Muhammad apparently he is the God of Islam. There is no Allah, like yeah. Allah, forget Allah. He just made that it's, up. Yeah, he's made up like, oh God. He is the God of Islam. Yeah. So he said, he said, Ya ayyuhan nabi, supposedly Allah told him, Oh Prophet, cover your woman, nisa'uk wa nisa'il mu'mineen, the woman of the believers, okay? Dalika adna an yu'arafin, it's better not to be known. Cover them. Wow. Right? Yeah. So that's the story of the Do you know how many gods there are? Do, one. One God. One God. When I say it's the God, that means one God. No, but, but you're referring to this a moon God from the Nabataean culture. Did you know that? The difference between our God and your God. Well, my God is real, and your God is Satan. Just because I might stand here, listen to me, and disagree with you theologically. Don't get it twisted. I don't hate you. I don't hate anybody here that's a Muslim. You need to know that very clearly. I disagree with you on some theological things. I disagree with you about Jesus Christ. I disagree with you about the cross. But I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I'm going to say it again. I don't hate you. You're a human being like me. You eat food just like me. You, you, you're looking for God just like me. You're trying, to, you're trying to be saved just like me. The only difference is I believe that Jesus died for my sins and you don't. So I'm not here to, to, to say I hate you. I'm here for the same reason you're here. If you're a Muslim here and you're handing a Quran and you believe that you're a Muslim, what you're doing is you're trying to propagate Islam. And you believe that Jesus Christ one day is going to come back and destroy the cross. That's anti-Christian. You know, actually, what I'm doing is destroying Satan. I am a demon slayer. Allah is a demon and I am a demon slayer.